Hey everyone, welcome back to Patchify. If you're using an AMD Radeon graphics card, this video is definitely for you. Today I'll walk you through how to properly optimize the AMD Radeon software to get smoother gameplay, higher performance, and the best possible experience from your GPU. Stick around till the end to make sure you're getting the maximum out of your AMD card. To open the Radeon software, simply right-click anywhere on your desktop. From the menu that appears, choose AMD Software, Adrenaline Edition. This will open the main control panel. Once you're on the dashboard, the first step is to check for updates. It's really important to keep your Radeon software up to date since new updates bring performance improvements, bug fixes, and new features. On the right-hand side, you'll see a section called Driver and Software click check for updates. In my case, everything is already up to date, but if you see a new version available, go ahead and download and install it to make sure you're running the latest build. After updating, let's clear the shader cache to remove temporary data stored from previously played games. This can fix stuttering, lag spikes, or low frame rates. To do that, go to the Gaming tab, then open Graphics. Scroll down to Advanced Settings, and at the bottom you'll find Reset Shader Cache. Click Perform Reset, confirm with OK, and the cache will be cleared, helping your games load smoother. Next, let's fine tune your display settings. Click the Display tab at the top. Here you'll find AMD FreeSync. Enable it if your monitor supports it. FreeSync helps prevent screen tearing and keeps visuals smooth by syncing your GPU and monitor refresh rates. Below that, you'll see Virtual Super Resolution. I recommend keeping this off since it forces the system to render games at a higher resolution than your screen's native one, which can hurt performance. GPU scaling should be on to maintain proper aspect ratios in older or lower resolution titles. You'll also find integer scaling. This one sharpens low resolution images by cleanly enlarging pixels without blurring. Try enabling it to see if it improves image clarity. If not, you can always switch it back off. Now let's head over to Graphics Settings, which is where the main performance tuning happens. Click on the Graphics tab. You'll see profiles like Performance, uh, Quality, Power Saving, Default, and Custom. The default mode uses standard system settings, while Power Saving lowers heat and energy use but sacrifices FPS. Not great for gaming. For the best gameplay experience, go with the Performance Profile. At the top, you'll notice Radeon Super Resolution. If your GPU supports it, enable it. It's designed to boost frame rates while keeping visuals sharp. Then turn on Radeon Anti-Lag to reduce input delay and make your games feel more responsive. Keep Radeon Chill and Radeon Boost turned off since they can sometimes cause performance inconsistencies. If Radeon Image Sharpening is available and you're not using Super Resolution, Turn it on and set sharpness between 80 to 85% for clearer textures. But if super resolution is active, it's best to leave sharpening off to prevent overprocessing. Also, make sure to enable Radeon Enhanced Sync. This feature helps smooth out frame rates and minimizes screen tearing without the heavy input delay you get with regular VSync. If the option AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 is available, Go ahead and enable it. It boosts FPS with frame generation. You'll also see the frame rate target control option. This lets you limit the maximum FPS according to your preference. Personally, I keep it off because I don't want to limit my FPS. Next, let's fine tune the anti-aliasing options. Set anti-aliasing to use application settings and choose multi-sampling as the method. Disable morphological anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering. For texture filtering quality, pick performance. It's ideal for smoother frame rates, though you can try high if you have a stronger GPU. Set tessellation mode to AMD optimized and leave the remaining settings as they are. Once all adjustments are done, restart your PC so the changes fully apply. After rebooting, launch a few of your favorite games and check the difference. You should notice smoother gameplay, reduced stuttering, and a nice FPS boost. And that's it for this AMD Radeon optimization guide. Hopefully these tweaks help you squeeze every bit of performance out of your graphics card. If this video helped you, 
Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to Patchify for more tech tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.